Hello everyone and welcome back to Building a Dark Ride. This is part 5. Now today we're going to be working on the beginning of the ride. We're going to start at the station and work our way around the ride and eventually end up here and by that time it'll be done. So first of all let me talk about what I did. So right here I created us another station with a uh, connecting joint to the main track. Now this is what we call like a maintenance area for the ride vehicles like let's say a ride has five vehicles well you know on a busy day they would use all five but on like a lower day they might only use three or when one's broken all they have to do is release it and then put it back in here and they can use this area to you know maintenance vehicles to keep them here for storage but that's what most rides have they just have this little area right in here that is for maintenance. But so yeah, so I did that, and um, the reason it inner, um, I don't know, it comes together like that. There's a mod, uh, you can look that up. I'll put a link down below. But so uh, anyways, so yeah, so now I have the basic layout plan for our um, alien attraction right here. So let me just give you an overview. So this first section right here, this is just going to be the station slash loading area. This is just where the vehicles go and stop and seatbelt checks. Then the next area, our scene one show scene, this is going to be our laboratory tour. This is the first thing guest experience. Uh, we're going to have a pair of doors between this and the loading area. And guests are going to come through here and they're going to be given like sort of a tour type thing of the laboratories, you know, seeing aliens, blah, blah, blah. Then you're going to get to about right here, and we're going to enter our sh second show scene, which is where things start to go wrong. Like, you get reports of aliens breaking out. That's why we have the break section. We're going to have maybe a monitor on the other side with, I don't know, like a general or something saying that the aliens have escaped. So that's our second show scene. Then we're going to come around the corner to our third show scene. This is going to be our alien attack show scene, the one shaped like an S. And this is just going to be where aliens are attacking the, um, uh, yeah, attacking guests in their ride vehicles, and the power is going to go out, and you know, it's going to be like really intense. Then our last show scene as we come around the S is going to be the alien uh, breeding room. If you've seen um, Aliens or, you know, Alien vs. Predator, you know the queen alien, and she has all these eggs. Well, after you come around here, you're going to enter that area, and you know, we're going to have a the animatronic but like I'd like to have that but you know we don't have that custom scenery but there'll be the queen alien in here and it looks like you're just about to get eaten and then you enter our last show scene which is you know the unloading dock so you'll come around here and they'll just be like oh sorry about that we didn't mean for the aliens to escape and then you come around you'll get off the ride you will go into a gift shop right in this area and then you'll exit so that's what we're looking at for our basic concept of the ride here. That glitches out when I zoom out of that. That's weird. But so yeah, so today I'm going to talk to you guys about this uh, seatbelt check area. So let's just get to work on that. So I'm going to flesh this out right here. So let's just get some sci-fi flooring. Um, where's that one? It has... Yeah, that's it. Okay, so we're gonna put this here. And now we need a elevated area. So I like to use Fisherman's Emergency Stop for this type of things. And we'll get into that too later. But right now we're just working on the main ride. Um, let's use a couple of these. No, that's too big. Mm, that's too big too. All right, we'll come back to that. Let's see. Don't need diagonal. Need a level platform. Bring it up just a little bit, and we're gonna flip it around and bring it up on that side. And there we go. So that's our basic loading platform. So uh, let me find a control booth in this set. Um, where is it? I know it's in here somewhere. There it is. Ooh, why are you flipping around like that? Stop that. Ah. Maybe it wasn't this one. I forget. Is it only that tile, really? Well, I have to find another one. Uh, let's see. 
there is another one. I can't remember what set it's in. Uh, oh gosh. Let me just see if I can find that real quick. Um, I don't think it's in that one. No, no, no. Um, well, I'll just look for it later and I'll put that in in between episodes. But so basically right here, you'll have a control booth. So operators from here see that guests are loaded in here, but they can't see if guests are really buckled in and safe, safe yet. So they'll press a button and the vehicle will automatically come around here and it'll come to this brake run and stop right here. This is for two reasons. One of the reasons is to break the ride up between vehicles. Like you don't want one vehicle on top of the other right behind each other during the ride because I mean if it was like that you could see what was going to happen before you got there because all the effects would go on the vehicle in front of you so you could like like for example if you were riding dinosaur in Disney's Animal Kingdom I know I use that, that a lot but it's like the best dark ride in my opinion but like you could see a dinosaur pop out before it was supposed to be for your vehicle so like every vehicle is supposed to have its own unique experience so this is for one purpose it'll come around here and it'll stop and uh, on the control panel here which we'll have they will see um, where all the ride vehicles are and when they can release it. So maybe when the other one got around here, they can release this one. And the second one is for a seatbelt check. So like I said, you'll have a live cast member right in this area at a control booth. And once the um, vehicle comes up, he will simply step over and be and check to see that guests have their seatbelts buckled. And then he'll wait and release the car when the time's ready. Because you don't want... Um, guests you know with unbuckled seatbelts because they could either a you know exit the ride vehicle and walk around the ride or b if it's like a really rough ride like amazing adventures of spider-man or dinosaur they might get thrown and injured and you don't want that so yeah so this is your basic seat belt station so now we're going to put in a door to break this up we need a sci-fi door i like this one and we're going to put it up one because, yeah. Mm, I can only that one better. Yeah, okay. And then we're just going to, let's see, what wall do we want to use? We want to use sci-fi. Alright, let's go down here and find one of these little walls so we can just throw that in there. Mm. Yeah, that's good. The, I I don't like doing that because it goes through the track. But the, I I don't like doing that because it goes through the track. But if you put the door like lower on the ground, then uh, for some reason this this type of attraction goes through the door, and I don't really like it when it clips through. But anyways, so now um, let's talk about uh, another backstage area that is key right here. So we will have a wall. Let me just I'm just gonna throw this down. This isn't final but we're gonna have a wall right here and it's going to come around like this basically um yeah it'll come around like this and then there'll be a door right here so this cast member that stays here he can go back here to the maintenance area if he needs to and then come across the track into the control room uh, this is also an evacuation area if the ride breaks down or if he just simply needs to change shifts, like he stands here for 30 minutes and then he exits out this hallway and another guy comes in. So that's a backstage area, so let's get to work on that. Just gonna delete this temporary wall here. And sci-fi. Um, walls. I don't know if that will work. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that should be fine. Alrighty. And then we're just going to get one of these bigger walls. This one looks fine. there you go your basic thing and I'll go find that control booth between episodes but uh, yeah so there is your basic 
uh, brake check, or not brake check, uh, seatbelt check and vehicle dispatch. And that's going to do it for today. So next time we're going to talk about uh, this maintenance area. We'll continue working in this area for a couple episodes just to get, you know, all the logistics of it. But uh, yeah, so that was part five of Building a Dark Ride. If you want to see more and continue on this series, feel free to subscribe and watch out for part six. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace. Thank you.